Hell yeah. Welcome, everybody, to an all new Planet Dirty. This is the Clue Gulliger Root Beer Memorial Saturday Night Power Fest. Uh, Brandon's got his generalized pumpkin shirt on, a classic shirt. This was featured in the film. Um, <laughs> New Year. What was the name of the film again? It was it was the New Year's Evil special movie. It was called. Um, it was called. Um, Call me evil. Call me evil. That's right. Honestly, that was one of your best works. I really thought that came out great. I appreciate it. How did you admit that? Like, no, I'm not, I'm actually not bullshitting you. How did you emit that emotion when you were the one that was tied up? like this and you had to like because I, I felt it you I, you actually did a damn good job i appreciate it it felt incredibly cheesy and i don't think i'm a good actor whatsoever so i'm the fact that it came off as good as it did is a surprise to even me so i have no idea how to even answer that question well brandon we got a super chat from saturn video um let's see who we got in the chat that we're gonna get the show going it gets of course saturn got Jaden Christopher what's going on blu-ray addict cliff booth justin smith that's right i got my mcdonald's hat on my mcdonald's visor it's my visor very joe nice. jack is drinking beer i love it jg how are you witch hunter detroit sound don't you like some detroit sounds brandon mm -hmm. oh yeah detroit rock city oh yeah aids corn hell of a name <laughs> muzz zach what's up man how are you? Scatterbrain70. Yeah, I just dropped the Saw X trailer reaction. Brandon caught it earlier. Oh, it's perfect. Uh, we got the uh, mom, the dad, the father and son team, Jeff. They're there. Jeff, Jeff Shukart. Shukart. I think that's how you say it. What's going on, guys? Uh, Brandon, have we already have we already hit uh, 50 likes? Let me see. Because if not, we have, a, we, have an, we have a serious issue. We have not hit 50 likes. I, I told you what happens if we haven't hit 50 likes before the start of the show. 39 likes oh crap this is so, not good brandon it's not good because the let me tell you what saturn video just sent us hmm. saturn video just sent us a ten dollar super chat that said danky kang has been defeated the tang portal has been closed for good uh oh super chh and the butterman ride off into the sunset and they're on their hobgoblins and stuffed cats to drink the beer of roots banza but you told me brandon you said christian we're gonna have 50 likes before the show starts saturday yeah. And if it doesn't, I'll open the portal back up. That's true. Why did you say that? You just, you realize what's about to happen. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> you realize what is about to happen. Oh, We're yeah. The tank portal is open. All residents of Planet Dirty evacuate immediately. The tank portal has been opened. May God help us all. What's up? <laughs> it just, I knew this was going to lead to somebody. What's up, Cody? <laughs> Not much, man. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good, I'm man. doing well. Ready to drink some root beer? Hell yeah, man. Got some good ones here. Me too. I got a plethora in front of me. I got diabetes in front of me, actually. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, welcome, man. You're lucky hey. the portal was open back up. Yeah, man. Without that. I'd still be lost. <laughs> Cody X. So Cody got lost in the Tang portal last time. <laughs> and luckily, Brandon opened the portal back up on accident. Um, thank you, Saturn Video, for that $10 super chat. That couldn't have been more perfect. Mm -hmm. um, Cody, you got your fat boys ready for Freddy hat on tonight. Dude, I dig it. I do. Dude, that Love is, it. I'm so sad wow. I didn't grab that. Yeah, it's a cool mm. shirt. You got a Child's Play shirt on, too? What is that? Yeah. Damn, nice. dude. Yeah. Nice. It has a little cool back on it, too. Holy crap. Yeah. I, I come styling and profile. I'm like Ric Flair, guys. I see that. I see. Here I am trying to be Mr. Cool, and you just, you got a better hat. You got a better shirt. You just, so, I don't know why I try. I need to be like Brandon and just <laughs> stick to my Walmart tees, dude. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, that's a pretty cool McDonald's visor, man. I'm not going to lie. It's a, Yeah, it's retro, too. It's from the 90s. Nice. Yeah. Uh, really quick before we get into some root beer, uh, John Kyle Stan, 80s Harf with a $20 super chat. Hey, hair Joe, what is wrong with being a plumber? Um, you know what, man? Uh, it's a great question. Um, I'll tell you what's wrong with plumbers. They charge out the ass, Johnny. You know, they charge out the ass. They can manipulate you. 
but they've got you over a barrel because mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Fix it yourself. Right. Thank you, Johnny. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're watching, buddy. Thank you for this for the $20 super chat. Now let me give you one of, uh, let me give you one of Cody's favorites right here. Listen to me. The next time you have to think of it, buy a box of milk that or sneak them in. And go to the hot butter and drizzle it all into all into the box of milk that's it is the best thing you'll ever have in your life. <laughs> Classic. All right, so really quick, guys. Uh Cody, thank you for being here, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, him, he's he oh <laughs> hey cocaine bear, thanks for having a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you're awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Uh, let me give you a quick one, Johnny. With all these nicknames, everyone that I accumulate, I accumulate like three pounds of fat. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Um, so this is the Clue Gulliger Root Beer Memorial Saturday Night Power Fest. Um, that's right. Zach's Horror House says the dude who loves movies is the honorary member every week. Love it. Time to rock with a man from around the planet and the dirtiest. <laughs> The dirtiest man of all time. Oh, yeah. You, um, you, guys, you guys are Planet Dirty when I join this Planet Filthy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I dig it, dude. I'm glad you're here, man. You. Um, Like I said, let me see if I can get through the name again. The Clue Gulliger Root Beer Memorial Saturday Night Power Fest. Um, you guys, as you know, we lost Clue Gulliger earlier this year. Uh, the great Clue Gulliger. Um for horror fans, we know him from Return of the Living Dead and uh, Freddy, Freddy's Revenge. He also was in films like, um, there, I think it was a slash film called, called The Initiation he, he was in. But he did a lot of movies, you know. And I don't recall ever doing anything formally about this, Brandon and Cody. So, like, I just kind of want to take a night just to give him a shot of praise, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the greatest horror movie dads ever. Um, I strive to be like him one day. I want to be that kind of dad that can't fix a goddamn thing in the house, but it's oh, but I always know how to fix it. You know, it just needs to shut a free on. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to tell my son to have his room unpacked. And um, you got to admit, he was just a cool guy in Return of the Living Dead. You know, even though like before all the shit hit the fan, you could just tell he was a chill, cool dude. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? And uh, I miss him. I, I wish he was still with us. I took a lot of joy. It was so funny because a buddy of mine, Steak Sauce, I remember talking to him maybe sometime late last year. And I was like, dude, it's so I was trying to find pictures of Clue recently. And I found one. And he was at some movie theater in Los Angeles. He apparently lives at almost somewhere in California. I don't know if it's Los Angeles, but he was like 94, 95. And he was there. People were taking pictures with him. And it just made me so happy that he was still alive and doing his thing. And to be at that age and just not quit. Think mm -hmm. about that. How many people in their 90s like even want to do anything if they're alive? Mm -hmm. They usually just sit. He would just live life to, on his own terms. And that, that's incredible. I'm just sad he's gone. But, you know, he'll be with us forever. So I just wanted to do a, I wanted to do a show where we just give him a shot of praise. You know, the great clue, the great clue Gulliger. So. That, that's all, that's all I got to say about that. I, I see the chat. They're all talking about Return to Living Dead and, you know, Hunter's Blood. I haven't seen that. I have to check out Hunter's Blood. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. The New Beverly Cinema. Yeah, that's it. It was the New Beverly Cinema is where he's all, he was always there. So is that is that Tarantino's theater? It might be. Yeah, I think Tarantino uh, bought that. Yeah. yeah. That, well, there you go. So Clue was always hanging out there. So. <laughs> Uh, Cody, I, haven't, I don't know if I've ever talked to you much about Return of the Living Dead. Are you a fan of Return of the Living I am, Dead? I am a fan. I grew up actually with the third one. That one was just always on TV for some reason. So I grew up watching that one a lot. And I haven't. I watched the first and second one maybe in like 2000 during the pandemic. I first I was first introduced to them. Yeah. I, liked, I liked it a lot. It's so funny, dude. It's so mm -hmm. good. And yeah, it's my favorite, my favorite movie on the planet. Yeah. So... And Brandon, obviously, me and Brandon, that was one of the first things we, we, me and Brandon, we really bonded over Return of the Living Dead 2. Oh, yeah. But of course, we love Return of the Living Dead and we nerd out about mm -hmm. the changing Tar Man voice from mm -hmm. the original VHS and things like that. Bastards. Brandon, what, what was your favorite character from Return of the Living Dead? Um, I think it's probably got to be Frank. Yeah. It's either got to be Frank um, or Suicide. 
As, as, I, little, as little screen time as he had, he was amazing in that movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I mean, a, that, that's I'm how an... I road raged as a teenager. You know, I ain't sitting here two <laughs> fucking hours. That was me. So minus <laughs> the an... chains and uh, leather. So what about you, Cody? Who's your, do you have a favorite character from the film? I like Tar Man. I thought he was badass. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. That's the most, yeah. arguably, I think one of the most famous zombie characters ever. Mm hmm. I'm an Ernie Kaltenbrunner guy. Um, Don Kalfa's character is the mortician. Something about his delivery and everything. And the fact that he's like, you know, working on this guy in, in the morgue in a fucking maroon track suit. <laughs> Something about that is so badass. And he's listening to like, what was that, Brandon? Like classical, like symphony yeah. music. I think he was listening to either Beethoven or Mozart. I think I could be wrong about that. It was something like that. I'm probably totally wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But cheers to Clue, guys. How, let's let's actually hey, let's let's get into this, uh, Cody. What what kind of root beers do you have? So I got some different. I went. So for some reason, have you guys ever been to like Ace Hardware? They have a section where they have like specialty like drinks and stuff. Look at so that hardware. Yeah, I got <laughs> dude wet. the red bastard. <laughs> That's awesome. Tastes like, Tastes a, like son a son of a, of a bitch. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and then I got uh, dogs dog and suds. suds. Oh, That's gonna be the best one. I called it. Yeah, That'll be the best oh, one. Brandon. And then I got a fancy ass Fago. Oh, Fago, yes. Fago root beer is delicious. I haven't had. See, so since I moved from Michigan to like Arizona, it's it's not a thing that's out here. Fago. Yeah. 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 But I'm definitely gonna try the Rat Bastard first. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, "Oh my god!" It reminds me of CHH. That's perfect. That is a fucking Rat Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. All right, we'll have that ready. Cody, we're going to stop. Brandon, what do you have for us tonight? Um, so put a note in this. I'm only going to drink two tonight, but I do have what? these available. I have a Boylan's root beer. Let me see if I can do it closer than that. That's a Boylan's. Now, have you had that before? I have. It's delicious. Oh, I have I, IBC I'm... root beer, which is the standard. Oh, by the you way, Cody, that... people yeah. are definitely going to want you to drink that rat bastard first. <laughs> I have a Dr. Brown's draft style root beer. What the hell? A draft root beer? I have the classic dad's root beer, which is always a staple. Very, dad's very good. <laughs> I have a Sioux City sarsaparilla. Yeah. Oh. Kind of counts. It kind of counts. Uh, I have a Virgil's root beer. Obviously, it's one of the standard Sioux. And then obviously, I have the Frosty's root beer, which I'm definitely drinking tonight for sure. One of the best root beers out there, in my opinion. Dude, um, and Shannon's my- got a weird one, too. Look at this thing. Shannon got this weird Olipop classic root beer. Where y'all oh, wow. find this stuff, man? Which is like Ace. it's probiotic and shit. <laughs> I got mine Ace's hardware. <laughs> yeah. oh, remember that CR. Uh, you guys completely outshine me. I'm actually gonna start with a diet barks. <laughs> diet <laughs> barks. Dang. Zero Dude, sugar. Zero sugar. Oof. Whoa, what is that? Bart it's Simpsons? Old, yeah, this is this is an old school barks <laughs> can. They all had different <laughs> Simpson characters on them. And I've, I've kept this one. It expired in 2001. Oh, that's incredible. That is insane. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I, they probably wouldn't even be able to put this on a can anymore. Oh, dude, that is incredible. Yeah. I got Barks in the fridge, too, actually. I, I'm not drinking this. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's crack it. Everybody's cracked open. Yeah. All right. Raise up your glass, Brandon. There you go. All right, take a sip. <laughs> to friends to making memories to our amazing chat and to the late great clue gulliger oh we gotta hold the pose somebody's gonna somebody get the screenshot are you calling <sighs> oh yeah Okay. okay. <laughs> what? what? Uh, cheers. I wanted to see how long I could go. Oh, God damn. Hey, tastes like a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that an angry root beer, Cody? Uh, Not as angry as you think. Mm. That's good. Now, Cody, are you a regular root beer drinker or was this out of the norm for you? 
Uh, I do like root beer. I don't get it all the time. Like when I go to talk or when I go to Taco Bell, I get root beer because their Dr. Pepper tastes weird at Taco Bell. Really? So I get their mug there. Yeah. <clears throat> do you do you drink mug? Is that is that the one you prefer over Barks? Or because yeah. you know you get the what what are, what are like the two main ones? Is it like like you get from Walmart? It's like Barks and, Barks and mug. mugs. And I, I think A and W is up there too. But I don't. Yeah. I can't tell you the last time I had that. <laughs> Brandon, what the hell? Are you, what's wrong, Brandon? Are you having a heart attack, Brandon? The Olipop shit's nasty, dude. Oh God, Brandon. That's a fail. Go get another one here. Have <laughs> Poor Brandon. Took one sip. He's done. Brandon, back. Delicious. Shit, back in my day, Brandon. If you if you cracked open a bottle, you finished it. That was Shanna. She can finish it if she wants to. I ain't taking another sip. That's gross. Is it like uh, Bud or something? Beer. It's a probiotic root beer we found. It's like there's a whole line of Olipop sodas and they're probiotic. She was two sixty nine for that can too. Dang. Where did you say you got the, your uh, yours at? All the weird ones came from a place called Fresh Market today. Okay. So I got these fancy uh, coconut and pear jelly beans too. I also got some kitchen sink cookies to pass the time with also. Yeah. What the hell? Are those uh, raisin? Oatmeal raisin cookies with chunks of white chocolate, butterscotch chunks, and chocolate. The best cookies you'll ever have in your life. And, and, and raisins, dude, obviously. Oatmeal raisin was something I used to think was like gross as a kid, but I would never eat it. But as an adult, like, dude, mm. give me oatmeal raisin over almost damn near anything Agreed. now. Agreed. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So I'm still an M&M's guy. I like M&M's in my cookies. Um, go to now when it comes to just eating M and M's though, are you a ye a yellow bag a a brown bag? What what is your brown bag? I like brown bag, but sometimes if I want like uh, the peanut butter ones, I'm yeah, the good. red bags. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Bag, yeah. Cheers, Adventures of Big Daddy J. Say he's drinking a Barks with us tonight. God bless, dude. <laughs> After this, I'm gonna crank out my, my big daddy, Brandon. I got a nice, nice I got a nice glass bottle. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so that's what um, I should have did. I should have froze a glass. Son of a bitch. Cody, how was um so Cody was at uh the great Brian Adams yeah. the other night. How was the concert? It was awesome, man. Uh it was my first time seeing him and he had Joan Jett open. That's I think my third time seeing her. And uh, she was really great as well. Yeah. Who did anybody steal the show, or was it just great all around? Top of the it bottom? was great all it was great all around. It was, it was probably the best I've heard. Uh, Joan Jett and Brian Adams was, was excellent. He went on for a long time, even after he did Summer of '69, which every, people started leaving. Like he was all like his band left and everything. And he came out and just played the acoustic by himself and went on and on. No kidding. Mm -hmm. How it how did heaven well. how did heaven sound? Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He looked like he he looks good, like really good still. He he yeah. does, and he he was showing like a music video because I guess he has like a new music video called Happy So Happy It Hurts. I think that's the the name of the tour as well. And his mom was in the video. His mom's like ninety five. Wow. Yeah, she looked good for ninety five. You know. Um, I guess we can address this, Brandon, if you don't mind. Everybody in the chat's mentioning this, so uh, I've gotten some DMs about it and stuff, and I'm sure you guys have seen it too. People are posting on Instagram, so I'm not. It looks like Scream Factory is going to have a pretty hardy month this October. Um, they are announcing. Here's the 4Ks that they announced, or they are going to announce. I'll do. I guys, I'll do a video on this on my channel in a day or so, and we can talk about it. Um, 4K of Pumpkinhead. 4K of. Um, I have the pictures right here. Let me see. This is the first time I'm hearing of this news, so this is exciting. Same. <clears throat> Same. All right, so 4K of the Blob 88, Brandon, Cody. Very nice. 4K of Pumpkinhead, 1988. Nice. 4K just the of first one? Just the first Pumpkinhead. 4K of Night of the Demons. Then Special Collector's Slipcover Edition Blu-rays of Night of the Demons 2 and Night of the Demons 3. Damn. I actually prefer Night of the Demons 2 and 3 over the first Night of the Demons. I'm not Same. a big, big fan. 
I that's really disappointing. One. That's you know, disappointing that part two is not getting a 4K. Are you talking about of Red, of Red Wings? Well, I can tell you right now, Brandon. Uh, are you talking about Pumpkinhead pumpkin or pump, not yeah, the Demons? Oh, yeah, I'm talking about Pumpkinhead, right? I oh, like Blood Wings way better than the first one. Okay. Yeah, no, but Night of the Demons too. I think I prefer that over the first one too, big time. Oh, what were you talking about, Kristen? Um, well, I was going to say I, I can already promise you. I, hold on, let me get. Good God, John Kyle sent with a two hundred dollars super chat. I think that's the biggest super Johnny. Good God, he must be drunk. That's a lot of money, man. Thank you, Brandon. So disrespected, intended with that mustache. Have you been approved to be in Reno nine one one? The <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> The cocaine bear I saw Brian Adams. Everything I do, I do for CHH. <laughs> <laughs> this Thank is you, Florida. Dude. We don't do anything without cocaine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I've, nope. been t- I've, I've been telling Johnny he needs to figure out a way to reach out to you, Brandon. You guys would get along really well. Hell, yeah. He's a nice guy. Thank you, Johnny. Good God, man. It's so, so, so kind of you. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, – so I just met uh, – God, no, I can't think of his name. Uh, Lance Hendrickson. Yeah, Lance Hendrickson. And, uh, man, guys, he's getting up there. And if you guys want to meet him, meet, meet him. him as yeah. soon as you can. Because, man, he, as you can tell, he signed this twice. So, he first, he, he signed it like this. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. But do your thing, man. And then, like, he started, he was talking to me again. And then he started signing it again. And halfway through the second signature, he's like, oh, I signed it twice. And I was like, hey, man, it's fine. So, he's... You know, he, he's a yeah, he, very, very nice guy, but he, I can tell that he's uh, getting, he's getting up, there. up there. And, you know, he was talking and talking. Even his handler was like, all right, you know, the next person will, will probably want to talk to you. You know, and I was like, you know, we were even like walking away and he's still talking. Very nice guy. Very nice guy. Highly recommend him. He is a little pricey, but like I said, he's I don't think he's going to I mean, you don't know, but, you know, just uh, he, he's a legend. So I would go ahead and if you can't if you see him meet him because you just you never know what it's, what tomorrow's going to bring yeah Man. i feel like i would be intimidated by that guy because like of course he's bishop and aliens and stuff but like i still think of him for some reason as the uh as the gnarly old vampire from near dark i think first and mm-hmm. foremost great movie and yeah. that guy he's really intimidating yeah. in that fucking movie so i feel like there'd be that little bit of a of a frazzle there i have i have a terminator poster and i kicked myself for not bringing it i don't know why it slipped my mind the person mm-hmm. in front of me was having a uh a Terminator poster signed and a uh, Quick and the Dead poster, which I love the Quick and the Dead. Nice. And I was like, man, totally. And uh, I went with my sister. My sister bought his book, his autobiography. And I felt bad because they're like, oh, you're the first one to buy the book. I was like, oh. So he was very excited about that. I was like, dang, man. So so guys, let he me, has a book, book out there if you want to hit that up. Let me give Johnny a clip real quick for his uh, super chat. Thank you again, Johnny. Good God, man. Thank you. I found this. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, Dude, look at Detroit Sounds comment. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Damn, Brandon, you got a little bronchitis. <laughs> I got bronchitis a little bit. What, what did you say? It? I don't... Johnny has he's, no more money. He's broke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. You're the man. Um. Anyway, uh, let me read what the chat was saying. But yeah, I I don't know, Brandon. What I was going to say though was with Night of Demons too. I can understand you being upset that there may not be a uh, 4K for that. But honestly, dude, I I think that they probably had the hardest time probably trying to find anything resembling a master for that. Yeah, it um, the Blu-ray I do have looks fine, so I'm not too worried about it because the Blu-ray looks really good for, for uh, Night of the Demons two already, yeah. and I have the DVD of DVD of Night <laughs> of the Demons three. I didn't I didn't say it though. <laughs> um, part three is so weird to me because like it's in a different house. Obviously, it's like a big white mansion in part three, right? But they still show stock footage from the first film of like the. Uh, the evil dead spirit, like the, the POV shot running through the house and it's a different house. So nothing matches up in part three, but it's definitely, I think still more fun than part one. Part one's good, but I can't see that looking good in 4k either. 
I feel it like is. that's going to look like it's not going to look good. I'm not going to get the first one in 4K. I don't know about Cody. I'm I I'm not the biggest, and I should be, but it does not. That movie just does not click with me. That the, the lipstick titty thing it just grosses me out. <laughs> I'm not into it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Angela's in all three, three of them. Really fun. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys like the remake? I thought the remake was actually Walking really good. With 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 uh, with uh, Furlong. Edward Furlong, dude, I love and that the chick movie. From Versus, yeah, that movie's underrated as hell, dude. Shannon Elizabeth's that in that, right? Yeah, she is. She plays Angela, I think. Yeah, that's a crazy oh, man, movie. Look at this yeah. shirt I got. Somebody sent me, Brandon. It's got the burning on it. it says oh, Summer awesome. Camp Massacre. It's Friday Two in the Burning. Which you think the burning is better? Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. Because you're a drug addict. That's incredible. <laughs> I am. <laughs> no, dude, I feel you. Sugar addict. Um. Anyway, listen, guys, we're gonna hang out for a little while, and uh, I'm looking at the chat. You guys got questions? Anything you want to bring up? Let us know. Uh, Joe Jack said, "I saw the Hellraiser box set announcement. My first thought was, damn, they left out Fat Pinhead." <laughs> Cody, how did you feel about that? Were you are you a Pinhead fan, or are you kind of just? I am not. It's not my favorite. My and my favorite is the third one, so I'm glad the third the third one's in that one. So uh, and, and uh, Bloodline was the first one I had on VHS when I was a kid. I remember I got it for uh, uh, my birthday one year. I got that and Freddy's Revenge. Was that the first one that you saw Bloodlines? Because I can imagine no, that turning you off. No, the first one I saw was the third one. I was a very young kid, and my my aunt. I was. I had to be six or so. You had to aunt, be scared, scared the shit out of you. <laughs> so, so my aunt rent me, rented me the second one. Or you know, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the third one. Hell on Earth is that is that right? Hell on Earth. Hell, is that yeah. The third? Hell yeah. On Earth. That Doctor Giggles, and then I remember our high C came with a VHS of uh, Ninja Turtles. Like it was like two episodes or something. So I watched those, and I, I remember watching uh, uh, Hellraiser three and being like i don't know if i'm supposed to be watching this <laughs> like it was one of those things but i that liked it a lot. Me as a kid yeah <laughs> uh, really young. yeah oh man really quick everybody in the chat cody and brandon this is owen which y'all know today is his third birthday third he's, birthday wow. he's three years old everybody tell owen <laughs> happy birthday oh my god brandon's got a mutt city look at that thing that thing's dirty looking <laughs> This is uh, Owen's third birthday, everybody. Tell him happy birthday. He's going to Sam's Club tomorrow. Say happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday Owen. Birthday, Owen. <laughs> my dog's not with me, but I have a picture of my dog who passed away. There he is. Oh, rest <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, As you laugh. Is Duff. <laughs> the oh, dog sitting this guy. Duff? Oh, oh, nice. Duff. He, he looks right. like a Duff. His name's Dumb, but I call him Duff and Dub and Dumb right. and all kinds of stuff. Check uh, this out, guys. I got this at my my local old school gas station. Oh wow! It's an old school Barks. Wow, last Brandon. I know they made those. I, this might be. Let me see if it's got fructose in it. Make sure it's not like poison or something. No, it's just a classic old school Barks. Now, Brandon, now about to see how good this is because I had the zero sug. Let's go for a, a real one. With my Friday the 13th, I got in 2009 when the remake came out, my Friday the 13th bottle opener. 1967. Cheers. Holy crap. Now that's a root beer, Brandon. I didn't know they made it in glass. Dude, look how nice that looks. It looks bought, bootleg. That's what it looks like. Oh, I bought two and I'm keeping. Well, to me, it just looks like it's from like the 70s. I was just going to say it looks like it's from the 50s or something. Dude, right. this is the real deal. All right. Going what for the that? sarsaparilla. It's the sarsaparilla. Damn, Brandon's just powering through root beer. <laughs> <laughs> How's that rat bastard, dude? It's good. It's gone now. So Hell, damn. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so now I think I'm going to try dogs and suds. That's going to be the best one, Cody. I can feel it. It's a cool. Oh, man, it has a hot dog on there. Oh, I want a hot dog. Drive in style. <laughs> I don't think mine has. Does it, I don't think mine has probiotic. Brandon is going to be healthy as an ox, dude, with all these probiotics. <laughs> it was just that only that but the gross one. That was the only one. And I'm not drinking it. Yeah, but you got to shake that, dude. You probably had all the pro the probiotics float to the top of the drink. <laughs> so you heavy, you heavy loaded all the probiotics with that sip. So I'm really healthy now, right? Like for the night. <laughs> You're good for the next seven years. I can go bang like a seven gram rock of cocaine after this, right? Or crack and be fine. I thought you were going to say I can go bang seven grandmas. So I was like, all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Either way, the heart's going to power through it. So that's yeah. good to know. The pro probiotics are helping me. Uh, thank you guys for saying happy birthday, Owen. Um, Dude, what is this dog doing? Get out of here. You drops. Dylan Prell, CHH, love your content, bro. First found out about your content watching your old Laserdisc videos a few years ago. Wow. A Fago original root beer. Holy crap. Damn. Gonna get that Fright Night 2 on Laserdisc soon. Dude, I need Fright Night 2 on Laserdisc. Um, excuse me. Christian, hey, real quick. Um, yes, go back to Night of the Demons 3. I am glad it's getting a Blu ray. I probably will buy that because What's I only have the DVD. edition. It's a collector's yeah, edition, man. Have it's not fun. on Blu ray anywhere else, I don't think. No, Is I it have a trilogy, or are they selling them separately? It's separately. Okay, and good. I have good. the first movie on Blu ray. Then I bought the Steel Book. And so I'm just yeah. like, I don't need that movie on 4K. And I, yeah. two and three, I'm, for, I'm, I'm going to talk to the chat. No, Cody, have you seen the sequels? I have not. Just are the first you, one. You, you're a bigger 90s fan than 80s fan. Am I right? I do like 80s, but 90s is where I 90s live. is where you're at? Dude, you're going to where I live. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon will tell you, two and three are going to be your peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. You're going to yeah. love those. I, two I'm, is I'm, so I'm, damn fun, dude. It's They're fun. There's It's, it. yeah, they, 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 they live in that utopia of 90s. It's ama they're amazing. I yeah. love this. So I'm so glad that three and two are getting because two had a decent release from Olive Films, which you know they just went out of business, and uh, Kino was sucking up a lot of their movies. So it's this is actually news for us now. If I could just get nerdy for a second, that even though Olive has disbanded, now we know <laughs> that Kino is not the sole. Uh, they're not the sole people getting these movies from the Olive Library now. Now we see that Scream Factory procured Night of the Demons 2. So this is this could be very interesting for the future to see what happens with the rest of their titles. Yeah. But I'm well, excited about it. Yeah. I want an I want an upgrade of Firstborn because their olive release it's so oversaturated. It's like really it's like really hard to it, it, yeah, it's like you went swimming and swimming in chlorine with her eyes open and then you're watching TV and your eyes are all blurry kind of like that's kind of what it looks like and it's a great movie so when olive goes under do they still retain the licenses to all their plot pro do they do those like instantly expire when the when the company folds i think they sell it off huh. yeah i'm sure it was i'm sure this has been like in the i'm of course i mean what do, what do i know but i i would have to assume that all this stuff would have to be done over a period of time behind they could they could sit on those licenses for years if they wanted to whether they're a company or not you would think right but it's not just one person though you know it's not like derek's like okay these all go go to my house now kind of thing yeah yeah unless uh, it's like Har unless it's like harvey weinstein who's hanging on to five titles you know yeah no shit right. um john kyle with another ten dollar super chat good god dude <laughs> Thank you so much. Brandon Cocaine Bear in the chat. Please tell me your top two vampire movies, werewolf movies, Rocky movies, and Halloween movies. Yeah. Holy crap. Let's start with um okay, let's start with vampire movies. Okay. Uh, cocaine. Can we call you Cocaine Bear? <laughs> cocaine Cody. That's a good title. <laughs> cocaine good Cody. Title. <laughs> Cody. A lot of cocaine talk in this chat tonight. I <laughs> think you're an off the beaten path vampire guy. I don't think you're going to hit me with Fright Night and Lost Boys. Maybe Lost Boys, but uh, I don't think – I think your 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 second pick may be different. I don't know. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, Lost Boys and Once Bitten. Once Bitten? Uh-huh. I love yeah. Once Bitten. Now, which one do you like more? And really, just be honest about it. It's going to be Fright Night, but I watched uh, Once Bitten way more as a kid. That and that and uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It, dude. That is Mel Brooks. That movie uh -huh. is in his when he takes off the the hair piece that looks like, you know, Coppola's Dracula. I die. Yeah. I just die laughing. Uh, that got a Screen Factory Blu-ray, but I never upgraded. Okay, let me go next, and I'll let Brandon go. And I'm looking at the chat. People are saying Dust to Dawn, Lost Boys, Near Dark, Vamp, uh, <laughs> Dust. Yeah. Yeah, Near Dark is great too. I, Near Dark I, is I, great. I forget about that one. I'm gonna go Fright Night is one of my favorites of all time. And then I'm gonna throw in a wild card, Brandon. I'm gonna throw in it's gotta be your legitimate choice, though. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> my grandfather's a vampire. <laughs> 
Fright Night, and I'm gonna go. Um, Fright Night Two. No, not Fright Night Two. I'm not one of those people that thinks Fright Night Two is better than Fright Night. I don't think he beat Jerry Dandridge. Um, damn it, Brandon, this is tough. I'm gonna go John Carpenter's Vampires because every time I watch that movie, I like it more and more and more, and I think it's actually one of his better '90s films. Mm. So, uh, but yeah, subspecies came to mind. I see Bjorn Johnson saying subspecies. I almost went there, but something about John Carpenter's Vamp. <laughs> Damn, this root beer. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with vampires. Uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. Brandon, uh, the chat's come up with some great picks. Brandon's but, uh, gonna pull out a. Uh... Da- uh, what is it? Twilight Secret Dawn or something. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Brandon, Twi- I want to get <laughs> Twilight yeah. Dawn. Take us away, Brandon. You top two vampire movies. Uh, it hasn't changed. It's Interview with the Vampire and Lost Boys. Now, Brandon, I thought you were going to say uh, My Best Friend is a Vampire. That's probably top five. You know, along with Fright Night and um, Near Dark. They're probably top five for sure. Dude, I want to tell you really quick. That would be a good panel to do, a top 10 vampire tier. Oh, God. That would be a good one. I want to let you know, dude. We have to do a red wine vampire show, Brandon. <laughs> I'm down. Everybody's getting headaches. and Yeah. <laughs> um, I watched My Best Friend is a Vampire really for the first genuine time because I had that DVD pack, right? But it looks so pathetic. You barely know what's going on. Mm. I hate to say this, but I'd probably agree with you. I actually think that My Best Friend is a Vampire is as good or better, in my opinion, than Once Bitten or oh, cool. a lot of those other... Vampire's Kiss. Vampire's Kiss. I thought, I thought it was a Return of a Living Dead 2 vampire movie. Yeah, it's absolutely a charming film. Is it kind of like My Boyfriend's Back or something like that? Or is it like... Uh, once Th- that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got it's certainly a horror movie fans movie, right? Mm-hmm. But it's very it's PG, but it's super, dude. It's super charming, and it's got fun music, and it's it's uber eighties. Like, and it's like it's like this weird, authentic, almost talk sh- TV sitcom show eighties, like. They have like th- something about like the Zenith TVs in there. The kid sitting at his desk and he's got the Whopper thing. That like I was obsessed with this. I paused the movie when you're in the kid's bedroom, and you see that his milk carton of Whoppers. Because I remember this, it triggered a deep memory when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. My dad used to get me a thing of Whoppers, and it would be now they come in like these little rectangular boxes but when i was a kid it looked like a milk carton Uh and it said whoppers on it and he had whoppers on his desk and it triggered something in me like a deep-seated memory it was incredible but cody if you haven't seen it i'm not saying you're gonna be like i'm not saying you're gonna be like oh this is better than once bitten i get it once bitten is hysterical i love it but this was like this like i said this is to me this was return to living dead 2 as a vampire film that's awesome i have it on the way so i I, I, have not seen it but it sounds like it'd be great. Uh, Brandon has to get it. You, Brandon, you never seen the movie look this good. Yeah, I need to buy it. The uh, it's that one movie that makes you crave pig's blood because they make pig's blood <laughs> look so good. I swear. Yeah, it's good, man. And it's only it's cheap too. It's like twelve dollars. Mm-hmm. That's the most expensive place you could find it. Yeah. yeah, I gotta check Best Buy next week again see if they got it. Uh, people are saying, let me let me let's look at the chat and we'll move on to werewolf films. Uh, people are saying. Dr- Pr- Dracula Prince of Darkness Little Hammer Brandon uh-huh. uh, The Hunger The Living Dead Girl The First Underworld Are you guys Underworld fans? Never seen it I haven't I, seen one of them though I Brandon is good shit The first it, three Underworld movies are insanely good I think I've seen bits of the first one But I've never seen the whole thing I thought I was going to hate it But I loved it Like, Because I got into the Resident Evil movies And I really hated the first movie Like abysmally hated it Then I watched two I was like why is this better Then I watched (laughs) three And I was like why is this almost as good as that one (laughs) Like it's like the movies like do this Or at least at least hit a plateau And stay even I hate the first Resident Evil Yeah Um, Dust Till Dawn Fright Night Let the Right One In Great list, people. The chat is killing it, and Johnny's having a great time with this. Johnny loves Near Dark, by the way. Yeah. All right, so let's move on, Brandon, to vampire films. We'll start with you, and then we'll wait for the cocaine Cody. Werewolf. Werewolf films. Uh, Thank you. I'm drunk, drinking root brewskis. I'm going first, Christian, or 
Cody. Yeah. We're gonna start with you. We're gonna start with you. Then we'll go to the cocaine, oh, okay. Cody. <laughs> uh, top two favorite werewolf films would be An American Werewolf in London, obviously, oh. and Silver Bullet. You're a rat, Absolutely. son of a bitch. Silver Bullet, top tier, man. Rat, that is top tier. That's your choice, isn't it? That's both Absolutely y'all's not. choices. Absolutely isn't not. It? It's Absolutely not. not. Minor. Co- not go ahead, go King Cody. So my favorite werewolf movie is uh, Bad Moon. You That's son a, of a bitch! Yeah. I fucking love that movie. But with the, I think it's awesome. And then my second one, I like Wolf with Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson? Uh, That's a damn good. That one. needs a that needs a really good American release again. <sighs> mm-hmm. They got an indicator Blu-ray that just came out. Mm-hmm. Great movie. I, I'm also somebody who likes Werewolf in Paris. American it's great. Werewolf in Paris. <laughs> I have 4K seen... of that in Germany. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I haven't seen it since the VHS days. So maybe if I watched it now, it'd have a different uh, output on it. But uh, I used to like no, that when I was a kid. Paris is great. Yeah. All right, CGI Brandon. be damned. <laughs> I'm going to set the record straight because you are a rat bastard <laughs> son of a bitch. The best werewolf movie ever is Joe Dante's The Howling. <laughs> I, I will never be on the team of American Werewolf in London. It's it's not a werewolf movie. There's way other, there's a lot of other stuff going on. See, he, but when you say the howling, you mean howling for the marsupials, right? That's your favorite one. That's correct? three. That's three. Oh, three. Okay, excuse me. You don't know your howlings, Brandon. <laughs> the greatest werewolf film ever is Joe Dante's The Howling. It's a scary film. And I don't care about the scene where the guy's getting stretched in broad daylight in that. Well, it's not daylight. He's in a lit room. I like the shadowy effect in The Howling. And my second favorite wolf movie has to be. It's actually a little bit of a classic, Brandon, but it's not what people go to. I think it's a good movie. It's called Wolfen from 1981 wow. as well. And I'm a Sweet big poster. fan. Of, I'm a big fan of the Wolfen. Uh, it's kind of under, I wouldn't say underrated per se. People know about it, but it's really not a werewolf movie in the sense of what we're talking about. It's really almost like a Siberian Husky type movie. A lot of it's off screen, but it's a big city movie. There's something about it that I love. And I actually want people to check out, check that out. Uh, Wolfen. Yeah. I've great. never seen it. I don't think. But here, let me show you. I'll show you this Blu-ray. You can get really cheap. Yeah. I've seen the Wolf in DHS growing up all my whole life, but I don't think I ever rented it. The same with that movie Vamp, that vampire movie Vamp. I remember Vamp, that VHS yeah. cover, but I don't think I ever rented that movie. So Wolfen came out. So this was during Brandon. This was actually during the the big year of eighty one. This was the same year of uh, Howling and American Werewolf. Wolfen came out in the yep. same year, and it's a big city movie. And uh, there's some great. It's a it's a it's a good movie. I actually like it a lot, so check out Wolfen. But there's another movie I want to mention, an honorable mention, Brandon. It's psychedelic. It's wacky. It's called The Beast Must Die from the early 70s. And it is drug-fueled, and I love every second of it. Uh, It's got Peter Cushing in it, the late Peter Cushing. Uh, Great movie. Where would you guys place Company of Wolves or Cursed? I'm surprised that nobody here said Cursed. (laughs) The movie I feel like is an underrated uh, cult film now. Cursed it's, with the, it's not in my top five. Cursed is funny as hell, and I love it. Christina Ricci makes it. I, I was yeah. gonna say. Yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. Um, Bad then, Moon would actually be pretty high up in my list as well because those werewolf effects are incredible. And spoiler alert: when you see the werewolf in the house at the end, it's fucking startling. <laughs> I mean, it looks great. You know, what are you going to say? I've only ever Cody? seen bits and pieces. Yeah. It's good. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, what was the other movie you said, Brandon? Company of Wolves. I've never seen it, but I've, I think there's I mean, a recent Blu ray release, right? Yeah. I've Four, seen actually, it, it skipped Blu ray in America. It came out on 4K from Scream Factory, and I got it. And I told people to get it. Yeah. I said, guys, please support this because I want Scream Factory to know you want, yeah. that we want titles that are lost on physical media. And so I think it's a really interesting film, Company of Wolves. It's a canon film. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, whack, the scene from Waxwork is fun. Ginger Snaps mm-hmm. is great. Cursed is dog shit, says uh, John, <laughs> <laughs> Justin Smith. <laughs> I love, There's the, no poster. Movie. I love movie. the poster. Yeah. yeah. Well, you either you got, love it or you hate it. So, so <clears throat> I was talking to, uh, to Skeet Ulrich about this, actually. 
because Skeet Ulrich was originally in the movie. They filmed 90% of the movie, and then they had to go back and refilm it, and he opted out not to come back to refilm it. And uh, so Joshua Jackson took his spot. And he said that wow. before. Yeah. But I keep hearing that the first version was a lot worse. Oh, really? Yeah. I still want to see it. Yeah, I was... You know what was really bizarre? But speaking of John Kyle, who actually gave us the super chat for this question, Screen Factory did something so bizarre for this. They were put out this as a collector's edition with a new artwork slip, like a new artwork poster, but they never put the artwork on the slip cover. They just gave you the theatrical poster as the actual collector slip, but they never do that where they... They kind of did that a little bit for Night of the Creeps, but not really. Night of the Creeps, you had the option to get the new commissioned artwork as a slip or get the other version. Like the retail, you would find it with like the poster version of the slipcover. But for Curse, they made new artwork for the poster, but never put that new artwork as the slipcover. And I never understood it. Just drove me insane that they didn't do that. Yeah, see, and I got that post, and I didn't like the new commission artwork for it. I, I would have just rather had Christina... Yeah, yeah. Good, I, yeah, I'd rather have Christina Ricci on the poster than this than this werewolf. And not my slip. Yeah. Dog Soldiers is good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of good ones brought up. Um, it looks like a lot of people like Ginger Snapped. Um, the Beast Must Die. Oh, there, I must have brought that up earlier. I can't there remember. There is a good movie, but like, I don't want to say anything about it. So if I say it's a werewolf movie, people are going to be like, that's... Mm, but it's uh, called Hunter Hunter. I haven't heard of that. It's with Devin Sewa. Mm, I haven't. I haven't heard of that. I'll okay. check that out. Yeah, it's uh, Scream Factory actually released it. It was a brand new movie, but it's uh, it's a good movie. It's a little slow and a little on the low budget side, but it's it's pretty good. But if you watch the trailer, it kind of makes it look like it's a like it may be a werewolf or a killer werewolf movie. It's pretty cool. Badass. I picked this up recently. My friend has been talking me up about it. He said it's a really good werewolf movie. So I'm excited to check this out. Oh, Have wow. you guys seen this? No. Mm. I wanted to get that, but then I didn't. Something happened. Hopefully, it yours doesn't have that. I think they had some sort of small issue audio-wise or something when that release came out. Oh, oh no. Hopefully not. I guess I'll this see. Was, this was months and months and months ago. Right. So you should be fine. Um, oh, we still got more, though. So Rocky movies. Top two Rocky movies. That's yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rocky's mm. my franchise, man. I love that. I love the first one in Balboa. That's your top two? My top two. Damn. There you go, Adrian. Oh, nice. What is that? It's a Rocky statue uh, a replica. I got it at the statue, at the Rocky statue in Philadelphia. Really? Oh, that's badass. Yeah, I don't go anywhere without it. It's my it's my Oscar. Walk around with it. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a huge, huge Stallone and Rocky fan. Amen. Same. Awesome. All right. So yours are Rocky Rocky said, One and Rocky, Rocky, Rocky Bubble. Yeah. Brandon? But I love I'm gonna now. go I'm gonna go four and three. Four and three. Um, yeah, I've never seen Rocky Balboa or any of the Creed films, so I can't speak to those. So uh, one and two were obviously really good. I wasn't a huge fan of five, but I really enjoyed it. But uh, four is what I think of when I think of Rocky, and I really liked three too. I really, really like three. Yeah. Is three is the Mister T one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so it's definitely four and three for sure. Did me. I like three and Balboa. I really can't bring myself to watch those Creed movies, and now I, I you know I know that people tell me they're good, and I'm not. I'm not trying to be that stubborn bastard, but. Call it whatever you want. Stallone's character of Rocky is in those first two movies. They're still Rocky movies. And to me, Balboa yeah. was such the perfect ending. I don't want to see a shred of any. To me, that was the best ending of a series I'd ever seen. I have no desire to see a second of Rocky's life after that. It was perfect. So I've refused to just out of my own stubbornness. I've just refused to watch them. But I love three. That's the biggest hardship is, you know, once you get there to maintain it. And I think Clubber, Clubber really wasn't a bad guy, Brandon. I think he was actually, dude, he just wanted to win. Mm -hmm. He didn't do nothing wrong. Clubber was just trying to be the best in the world. He's doing his job. You know? And I think Clubber could have taken Drago. I don't care what nobody says, Brandon. 
Put Culber in the ring with Drago. Dead meat. <laughs> Just imagine. Do you think Drago would have beat Clubber Lang in a stare down? Clubber had the eyes of a monster. Drago was the robot. Right. Yeah, I, I, I see. I feel like uh, Drago would just like he'd be staring at him, but he'd be thinking about something else. You know, you yeah. like off in, in his own little world. Clubber would just not hit you and hit you till you just crumble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that little that shot in Rocky Four always gets me. It's such a small little minute thing, but every time I watch it, it's so intense. Whether it's supposed to be or not, I don't know. But that scene where I think uh, where Drago he's staring down uh, Creed. And you know he hits him with the uh, with his hands, and there's that, that that look of fear in Apollo Creed's eyes for that split second before he goes mm -hmm. back to his personality. Yeah. I'm like, damn, it's like right there he knows uh, he yeah. knows he's fucked. Dude. It's like, oh yeah. shit, yeah. it's a small thing, but it's so genius, mm -hmm. it's so genius, man. People um, hate on Rocky Four though, now, man. I don't get it. Well, that's the joke movie, apparently. I know. Well, they I didn't. Like, I, what people thought of you know. Yeah. Yeah, a, yeah but it motivates you. Goddamn that's robot. What the movie does. The fifth one, I, I like the fifth one. A lot of people hate on that movie, but I thought it was cool to see a street fight at the end, you know? Yeah, it's not terrible. I, I like them all, yeah. I like one through six. Um, Clubber Lang was just pity and fools. Rocky, <laughs> Rambo and Rocky showed Stallone can act and make you feel for him. Rocky vs. Drago was interesting. Haven't seen the Kree movies. Creed 3 sucked. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know that. I'm, I'm just reading the chat. I'm waiting for Christian to projectile vomit with one of those belches. <laughs> Southpaw, nothing. I'll drop him in three. Uh, Rocky franchise, my favorite non horror. My favorite franchise is the Rambo franchise. So me and Cody are different there. I'm a Rambo guy. I, I love, love Rocky, but I, I like Rambo as well. But it's my it's after Rocky. <clears throat> Detroit's ready to move on from Rocky. So let's move on from Rocky because the last part of Johnny's question was top. Two Halloween movies. Now, if you, I, I, I don't know what if, if Johnny meant the franchise or movies that take place during the season. So, how about we do this? Let's do top two franchise Halloween movies, and then how's that? You like where I'm going with that, Brandon? Then yeah. <laughs> you got the root beer. Do you have the root beer shakes, <laughs> Brandon? <A little bit. laughs> you see, he's got that that kind of droll with his lip. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling it. All right, so yeah. let's start with Cocaine Cody, the top two. And Cody, come out swinging. Top so, two Halloween franchise movies for you. So I'm not going to pick the first one just because it's a given for a lot of people. So I'm actually going to go with four and uh, uh, tw uh, Halloween H2O. I have a lot of love for H2O. Brandon, you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, how, do you feel, around. how do you feel about um, 4 and H2O? What are your thoughts on that? But I like them all. I just want to make that clear. But those are the two I think I find fun, the most fun. The disclaimer. Those are respectable choices. Like I said, I have nothing but love for H2O. I think it's a little bit too Dawson's Creek, but I also think it's very enjoyable. Uh, I just wish it had more Halloween atmosphere. But it takes place in California, so how Halloween atmosphere can you really have? You know, realistically. I love Hello Cool J when he's talking about melon breasts. <laughs> yeah. H2O is far better of a requel than uh, than 2018 is any day of the week. So I will say that. Brandon, your top two Halloween. Do you want to go last? You want me to go? I'll go. Uh, Halloween 2, 1981 is my hands down wow. number one. Bless, Bless you. you. Thank you. Jinx. And I will say my number two is either Halloween 1978 or Halloween 4. It's one of those two. It rotates between the days. But Halloween 281 is number one all time, all the time. Fair. Yes. My top two are Halloween 3. That's my number one favorite. And then Halloween the original. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, it's funny because I keep hearing us burp underneath our breath. Right, right, right. It, it keeps coming in my, my ear sound effects. Yeah. What the he hell probably, happened? I don't know, man. He did not. Uh, he almost didn't survive the Pepsi show. I uh, think he's, he's just dead. He had cardiac arrest. <laughs> he's lost in the fucking sauce, man. Not me. No, he was. Well, he downed that Nitro one, so. That was hardcore. I'm surprised he made it through that whole show, dude. That was gnarly. I felt bad for his stomach. 
I felt really bad for his stomach. Yeah, he was he was having some issues that night, <laughs> for sure. So I don't want to fuck myself on this. I can't even text him. <laughs> like, is he aware that he dropped out? That's the question. Or is he still like talking as if he's in the show? <laughs> he's talking about Dana Carvey and uh, that's right in uh, Halloween Two right now. Well, guys, the tank portal is open. All residents of Planet Dirty evacuate immediately. The Tang portal has been opened. May God help us all. What happened? <laughs> I don't know, Mike. Literally, my my it's that it didn't show that my internet was dipping or anything. Literally, the it just froze. Like okay. My, my oh, yeah. thing just froze. Yeah. See, and you didn't even freeze on our end. You just kind of dipped out. Dipped out. Yeah. Oh, because like my my screen froze. I was like, okay, good thing I didn't say a, anything bad. Then it was a very <laughs> aggressive dip out too. You're just oh. like, that's it. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck. Here, Halloween three, Halloween one. Bottom line, uh, right. end of it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you don't want to hear any. You don't want to hear any shit about Halloween H two O because I'm not uh, not taking that shit. Man. Um, I'm glad I didn't get sucked back into the portal though. <laughs> what are people saying Halloween 3 and Curse Michael Myers uh, but I hate part 4 and H2O dude I love H2O I think H2O is fucking great um, so I've only seen two ha- Halloween 78 and 2018 that's cool that's Oof. the only ones you've seen uh, Halloween ends is worse than the Busta Rhymes ones Brandon agrees yep. with that oh yeah Dude, when I was a kid, my mom took me to go see Halloween Resurrection in theaters. I thought Buster Rhymes kicking Michael's ass was the coolest fucking thing ever. <laughs> so, and I kept it that way. So I have not seen it in a long, a very, very long time. I, I maybe like 2005 was the last time I saw it. But sure. man, I thought it was pretty cool. But I don't know if I think it's pretty cool now. <laughs> uh, Johnny says four. I love the bear. <laughs> um. Anyway, let's do um, <laughs> the bottom line is the bottom line. <laughs> uh, let's, that's right. Let's do top two. So what are your favorite movies that take place during Halloween? I don't even think it needs to be a horror film if, it don't, if you don't want it to be. Just something that takes place during the holiday. That's a good question. Because that's a broad. That's a broad. I know. And, you know. And then like, you think about it, you're like, uh. I don't know, you know, like trick or treat school, but I feel like that's the boring answer. I I'll tell you one of mine. I, I love, I love Hocus Pocus, man. Hocus yeah, Pocus that's one of mine for sure, too. Hocus Pocus for sure. I thought I would hate that movie, but I actually liked it. I even didn't. Did you watch the guys? Did you guys watch the new one? Not yeah. yet. I, <laughs> not seen it. I enjoyed it. Did yeah, you? Okay, I, cool. I thought it was yeah. okay. Yeah, cool. Isabel liked it too. It's not as good, obviously, but um, Rock Music good. Forever just said one of mine. I can't believe Cody hasn't said it yet. Oh my god, fucking Ernest scared stupid. Yeah, uh, <laughs> see, like when, when, when you're on the spot, you're just like, oh, man. I, the only thing that was going through my head was uh, trick or treat. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to do wax melt of those Ernest scared, scared stupid. Wax melts. Dude, I'm telling you what, those Ernest goes to camp are, are fire. I'm glad you like them. Mm-hmm. Does can now what kind of scent do you really get from it? Is it more peanut butter or jelly? Because we so really did try to infuse them together. Well, dude, it's crazy because when you because like when I put them in, I'm kind of in the dark, but I was in my kitchen doing something with them. And it's like the bottoms are uh, jelly and then the tops look like they're peanut Mm -hmm. butter or vice versa. And then when you put it in, uh, like sometimes it smells like peanuts and you're like, okay, cool. I can really smell the peanuts. And then later on, you're like, okay, now I smell the jelly. And then it switches back and forth to what it smells. I hope you like that. Yeah, I do like it. Yeah. Awesome. But Yeah, it's very interesting how, how they do that. Um, me accent. <laughs> <I'm, I'm, I'm laughs> so, <laughs> Brian, I think I'm getting the root beer, uh, the root beer depression. Hangover. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, the root no, beer first, hangover. Ernest scared stupid. Absolutely. I won't say hocus pocus. I'll probably go. Um. God, dude, it's tough. I'm trying to think of what I. <laughs> What is so funny? <laughs> Just say it, Red. I'm no, I'm good. I'm straight. Oh, the crow's Go a good one. The crow. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> just tell me, please, Trent. I'm just reading the comments, dude. It's just it's... tell me what's making you laugh. <laughs> what the hell? Is... It's just uh, these casual comments. Joe Jackson says, "I thought he smelled." <laughs> <laughs> oh peanuts oh <laughs> and jade and christopher casually like, brandon you're laughing because you also heard him say it i'm like i'm, not, I, I'm trying to i'm oh, trying to be casual over here and just go I, through the motions i, I heard i was yeah we were talking about the wax melt and i said peanuts <laughs> and I'm over here, i know it smells like peanuts. i wasn't gonna say anything these <laughs> these guys in the chat just cracked me up man <laughs> i'm trying to be casual about it christian you're, it smelled like penis, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Carry House, on. Thousand, House of Thousand Corpses. That's my. Oh, that's a good one. That's really that does nail the Halloween vibe for sure. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with Hocus Pocus and Halloween Tree, the 1994 animated film. Maybe it was '93. You know what a good one is too that it takes place on Halloween, but I like watching it during like after Halloween is uh uh Pet Cemetery 2. Yes, that's a great one. Yeah, that's a great it's better than the first. <laughs> I like watching both of those movies when it's cold out. Yeah, they yeah, like these it, feel like very cold movies. Yeah, it's it's based on or not based, it's you know, it's set on uh Halloween night, or you know, there's a Halloween night scene, but I love watching it like you know. You know, May or not May, uh, November 18th. Yes. I think it's perfect yeah. time to watch that movie. I agree. Based on a true story, too. <laughs> <laughs> the atmosphere of part two is undeniably good. <laughs> so damn good. <laughs> <coughs> What's up, Josh? Two dollars super chat. Sorry if I asked. Thoughts on the Saw X trailer? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> that was the greatest review ever. Uh, what did you guys think for real? I thought it was all right. No, Honestly, I legitimately thought it was it was like, okay, if you're a Saw fan, you're going to like this. If you're not into it, you're going to be like, whatever. I think see, it's that simple. Yeah, see, I'm a Saw fan, and it looks like a Saw movie, so I'm happy with that. And I love revenge movies, and I love where he's just like, these motherfuckers are going to die for fucking me over so that got me hyped. I know, uh, I know. People look at this, oh, another Saw movie, but I was like, that's what I'm. I'm expecting a Saw movie when I go see it. I'm not expecting it to reinvent the, the wheel. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm actually in the camp of yeah. I think it's that. I think it's that simple. Um, I, I want a Saw movie. It's comfort from. It's comfort f- food to me. Whatever, mm-hmm. whatever you call it. That's what I want. I'm not looking for the wheel to be reinvented. A24 can reinvent the wheel. Mm-hmm. I it, want it, Twisted Pictures to make the same movie they made 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And I want to <laughs> eat a hot dog with it. I want to eat, drink Ovaltine, <laughs> uh, peanut butter sandwiches, Brennan. I mean, you right. name it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just like the whole aspect that they they screwed him over. So now he's like I said, I love revenge movies. And I think it's going to be cool to see see that with uh Kramer doing that. Yeah. Brandon, thoughts? Um, it was a good trailer. Uh I uh it's weird seeing John Kramer so directly involved with the, the traps in this movie. That's what it looks like it's gonna be like him pulling the strings directly. Because mm-hmm. I'm assuming it's sort of he goes back to Mexico City by himself to get revenge without Dr. Gordon, without Hoffman, without Shawnee Smith and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, we see her in the trailer, but I think maybe she'll be there just to do some kidnapping or something, or maybe she's taking care of business back at home. But I think it's really going to be Mexico city and John Kramer. And that's it. That's what I think is going to happen. That'll be cool because I think we, we've never really spent a lot of time with him. You know what I mean? (laughs) And that'll be awesome. But again, my biggest uh, worry is that it's not going to justify its existence. So I really hope it plays into the later series. And on that note, Cody, we were talking about uh, people are sick of seeing saw movies I think it's perfect timing because Saw 3D came out in 2010. That's 13 years ago. Mm-hmm. And Jigsaw and Spiral did not seem like fucking Saw movies to me. So I'm glad they're going back with the old font. The I'm I'm really interested why I'm really interested why I hate to put you on the spot and I'm not trying to argue with you, but I, I was interested to, that you said you preferred Jigsaw over Spiral. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the whole question? <laughs> Is there more to the question or? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, that's it. Let's move on. That's all I needed. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I'll, if you guys like Spiral, that's fine. I just thought it was pretty garbage. So, so I, I like, I, so I like Spar- Spiral, but they made it seem like. Like it, it was fat, like they made it seem like it was going to be fuck something crazy. Yeah, they were, and they were, yeah, they, yeah, they were like Chris yeah, Rock. Came, Chris Rock came to us with this idea, and we're like, we're putting this in fast forward. We're like we're putting this on, yeah. on gear right now. So when he I was, saw it, I was like, holy shit, what's going to happen? And I was yeah. like, okay, I guess what was going to happen. Like, it, it was not what I thought. Like, I I like it, but it's not. Like it wasn't not, worth the hype. Yeah, he was um Chris Rock was so incredibly awkward to me in that movie, which is a shame because I know he can act in serious parts. Mm-hmm. Like in that movie, um, in like New Jack City, for example, mm-hmm. he does a good serious role in that film. Mm-hmm. Like you, he's a believable fucking drug addict spiraling out of control. The fact that he was so unbelievably awkward and spiral blows my mind. Mm-hmm. And also, what the fuck was I talking about? Let me just get one rib. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my um, God. oh, I remember what I was going to say. Remember when Spiral came out and they, and they were like, this isn't a part of the Saw franchise. It's a spinoff. Mm-hmm. Saw still exists in its own thing. And now they're just basically like retroactively just making it Saw 9. Yeah. You know, it's hilarious to me. It's the only way to make it work. You know, maybe they want more people to go back and watch it. But see, I to me, that's old school. I like that. Mm-hmm. It is. I mean, how it is. is that? It's no different from it's no different from Friday Five, really, really. You know, anything? It's, it's like just like fuck it, just keep numbering them. Or like, <laughs> like you know, you know, thick and thin, keep numbering them, baby. It's like Jason goes to hell, and then next was X. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I love, I love it, I love it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, what's the best soft film to you, Cody? So after the first one, I like the sixth one, the one where they deal with the health. The health it's a, uh, insurance. I, it's a shame that people jumped off the ship by that point. Because mm-hmm. when I saw six in theater and seven, it was empty. Mm-hmm. Same. Did but, you see the first one in theaters? No. The, I started seeing them with three. Okay. That was an experience, man. I like, bet it scared pe- the shit out of you. People lost their shit. Yeah. Like people like what? Like it, it was just crazy. Nothing, you know, and then you try to show people at home and they're just like, okay, that's cool, buddy. No, dude, it, it, it yeah. rocked my it rocked my world watching it that's cool. on, on VHS. Cause I remember we rented the VHS from Blockbuster mm-hmm. uh when we saw it. Then after that first year, man, we were chasing that high. So every every Halloween, me and my friends would go see it. Yeah. Yeah. So Very episodic like, in the best way. So you like and for the chat, I'd love for you guys to get on with this because I kind of like what what uh John Kyle was saying, so you like one and six as your top mm-hmm. two. Brandon, do you have two favorites? Yeah, five and four. Five is my number one. Four is my number two. Is, I, I Five is my second favorite as well, but why do people not give – people really don't like that movie, and I don't really understand it. I think it's one of the best character ones. I love you that You get Italian the best look at John Kramer, I think, Wh- in part five also. Wh- which one's five? Like, they all kind of blend to me. Five, five is, is the where- Italian guy is – I call him the Italian guy. I forget his name, but he has to go. He knows it's Hoffman mm-hmm. and he's yeah. the whole movie trying to figure him out. Okay. And you he's see how great... Hoffman met Jigsaw and you like, you really explore Jigsaw. And it's, it's crazy. Dude. Five is awesome. And five has a scene where he's got the box on his head. That's filling up with water. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. he punctures his neck to breathe. Mm-hmm. I forget that guy's name, but he's in a, he's like, he looks like a soprano kind of Italian guy. And he's a great character. He doesn't take no shit. You know, he's just a great character. I love five. Five is my favorite, my second favorite. I think the best one is is three. But Brandon said he's not in a three. That's my third least favorite. So that's I one. love it. Uh, uh, with is that with uh, what's his name on the ice? That's with the that's with the singer from the Deftones going throughout like that warehouse. You know, deciding if this broad should die in the freezer mm. or if the you one, got the pig scene. I say he's a singer from Deftones. He just kind of looks like Chino. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but. Well, uh, what's his name's in it? Uh, Donnie Wahlberg's in. He's in second and two and four. Two and four. Okay, yeah, yeah. Four is so damn good too. Yeah, six it's, is the six is the one with the healthcare, right? Six yeah. is incredible. Okay. I yeah, I love. I saw. I started seeing those movies starting with two in theaters and became an annual Halloween fest for my friends <laughs> and I. Mm-hmm. And the I swear to God, the Saw Four opening night was a very intense theater experience because it was packed. And that opening autopsy scene it was such an elongated, raw, gory scene. I remember everybody's like it was a silent theater. 
Mm-hmm. And that fucking t- that was so cool, man. That was a great fucking opening, dude. Great I, way to continue the franchise. Yeah, man. I, I remember seeing uh, like movies like signs in theaters and people leaving the the theater being like eerie. Like it was like an eerie feeling. Everyone was quiet. It was just like, but you you know everyone enjoyed it. Yeah. I love. I got to see signs in theaters. I was little, but I saw it. Mm-hmm, awesome. I saw that, and then I saw that, and then like a few days after, I saw Eight Legged Freaks because they were in this theater at the same time. Hell yeah, I saw that as well. Signs was incredible, man. Mm-hmm. That movie is one of the fucking best movies I've ever seen, dude. When they show that alien walk across, people freak oh, out. Oh man! But you watch clips now, you know. I'm sure people like this was scary in 2000 or whatever but i was like yes it was man that, it freaked you out man just because the whole building when you're just taking the clip out and looking at it you're like okay that's not I've, i it's, it looks like someone in a green green screen suit but if you watch the whole movie and it's building up and building up and you see that it you know blows your balls off sure. yeah i get i get so much anxiety thinking about that movie that's mel gibson is insanely good in that mm-hmm. yeah oh my god Jesus, man. I need that movie because, you know, we're getting The Others on 4K this October from uh, Criterion, which is exciting. Did you see The Others in theaters? I did. I was not a fan of it. You didn't like it? No, fair enough. I I, I, I can understand that. I liked it. It scared the shit out of me. I was very, very impressionable. Yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah, and I haven't seen it since, so I might like it now. I liked it a lot. Uh, but I remember like 2001 was the year of The Others and Signs to me. I just remember those two movies vividly around that in that year and they both just traumatized me but i was saying i was thinking i was like you know we got a nice release of the others coming i'd be nice to get something like that for science i still think that's his best movie uh m m m night i love it it's a great movie i'm insanely what did he say (laughs) i'm I'm insane insane with anger (laughs) (laughs) i'm losing my mind Yeah. Dude, and Brandon, like the, that's what Brandon does. He just runs right into a snake. I was about to do that right now, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm insane. not mad. <laughs> Strip bear ass. I'm, I'm insane up for with it, man. I'm insane with anger. <laughs> that's how I show up to work every day. How you doing this morning, Brandon? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's, it's not too far off from the truth, man. Dude, and it's just crazy. Like the ladies, like pinned, you know, pinned against the tree in the, the car. And you're like, dang, man, she's just like slowly dying. They can't move it, or she'll die. It's like, fuck, man, dude. I think like that crosses my mind like once a month. I'm like, dude, that would suck. <laughs> like, like I get random things pop in my head, and that's one of them. <laughs> Brandon, I'm nervous for the day. Like the papers come out and it says Florida streamer hospitalized after experimenting with probiotic root beers. <laughs> 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 oh man it's you know, we, coming. Always, we always start these shows with the best intentions that's right <laughs> and then a few hours in we just look like we just spent everything at the horseshoe and now we're at the bar just <laughs> like dreading going home <laughs> <laughs> those two root beers kind of like really kicked my ass Dude, that's what I'm thinking too. Like mine, I'm like, <laughs> dude, man, I, like I, gotta I was like, there's like a thickness here that I can't explain. Like I'm being sucked into the fucking floor or something. <laughs> the I was, I was like, is three gonna be enough? I was like, man, two is two is fine. But that's how yeah. I was with those brownies too. I was like, man, only six brownies in here. I could probably go through those. I was with the second one. I was like, man, I think I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I still got the box in my pantry. I'm like, I'm never gonna eat those now. Oh, that's just uh, gone in my house. Dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, mine mine's gone. I, I ate them in the next day. I just yeah, them. yeah yeah I ate them through the week. Oh man, uh, Josh N- Josh Nitschi, thank you for the two dollars super chat. Breakdown is such a great movie. Love mm. it. It's my favorite Kurt Russell movie. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> great poster too. Yeah, it is a great poster. Sorry, it took me a second to collect myself. <laughs> um yeah, Sydney loved that movie. That movie was so good, dude. I can't believe I can't believe I never heard of it before. Oh man, it was watched it all the time as a kid. <clears throat> and Zombie Daddy films with a with a 99 cent Canadian. <laughs> Brandon's losing his mind. He's insane with anger. 
Why is there no? There's no verbiage there. It's just uh, that's it. Thank you so much, Zombie Daddy. And then Zombie Daddy with a six nine on Canadian. <laughs> man, man of many words. <laughs> what do you What do you think he meant to say? <laughs> what if there are words and you're just you've got the root beer drain right now? Oh yeah, <laughs> and you can't read it. I so should not have taken a nap before we did this stream. That's the fucking problem. <laughs> You're still napping. Yeah, I am. Yeah, what are, sleep. You know those memes on Instagram and TikTok of like the guy driving the truck and then he hits like the fence and then he starts going up in the air. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. <laughs> That's going to be Brandon on the couch in a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I get to work every morning, dude. <laughs> Excuse me. Muzak with a five dollar. Thank you so much. Have you guys heard about Universal building a classic monsters land in their new park? It's exciting to see them pushing the classics monster monsters. That's cool. Heard about that. It's gonna oh. be like a little tiny area, I think, of the new park they're building over there in Orlando. No shit. Yeah, they're gonna have like a Mario section, I'm pretty sure, and they're gonna have like a Universal Monsters area, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be a whole land. You know what I mean? So the best part of eating corn of the cob is when like shit sprays out of it and you hit somebody in the eye with the water. It's uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Muzak. <laughs> Brennan's on Elm Street. <laughs> um, Cody, what do you got going on this next couple weeks, man? You got anything exciting or fun you're doing? I don't think so, actually. Now that I can think of, <laughs> no, I man, just taking it, just taking it easy. Yeah, I, I'm getting ready for for some things coming up. I guess, I, I guess in a couple of weeks there's another horror convention. It's like a new convention here, and then I'm going to a another concert. Hell yeah, brother! <clears throat> I might go see Alice Cooper again. He's going with he's going to be in uh, Dallas with Rob Zombie, but then he's also going to, he's also going to be in Little Rock in October doing another leg of the Too Close for Comfort tour. Oh, nice. So I'm deciding if I want to go listen to Rob Zombie and Alice, or just enjoy another indoor night in a nice theater to see Alice again. So I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? So since I live in a place where it's super hot, I'd like to be inside. You just wait till October and go see him at the <laughs> in, in in Little Rock. Yeah, it was then, it was incredible seeing him by himself, man. No filler, no, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Wants. <clears throat> and you said he's never because I've seen him, I think three times, and he's never done behind the mask or the man behind the mask. I go on YouTube all the time and I see him playing it. He played it on the Too Close for Comfort tour. I saw a video like three weeks before. No, 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 it was like three days, not weeks, because like I was pretty early on the Too Close for Comfort tour, and like mm -hmm. three days before he started a couple, and he did it. And of course, he didn't do it for me. And I just know I'm going to just die if I see it live. So mm -hmm. that'd, be, that'd be awesome. Brandon looks like a roadie for Blue Oyster Cult. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want all the good drugs, you come to me. Uh, uh, fuck that. Go to both of those concerts, Christian. Go to both. Yeah. yeah. It's justified. Why not? I mean, that's an option too, I guess. Zombies Daddy films with a Canadian two dollars and seventy nine cents. Sorry, I'm high, but great stream. God bless, dude. Now you know how to make Brandon laugh. Just send him send money and don't say anything. <laughs> Brandon, when you go to buy something at the store, or if you go to get a store to get a coffee, and you pay for it, do you take the cash out and hold it out and hand it to the cashier, or do you throw it on the table and slide it and then leave it there for them to grab? Uh, I hand them the cash. The few times I use cash, but usually it's just a card. So are you guys like me to where you think it's like really disrespectful to take the money and just like throw it on the table to where they have to kind of like grab it and pick it up? And stuff? If I was the cashier, I'd punch somebody for doing that to me. So, yeah, I think it's kind of rude. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, because I used to be a cashier and I hated when people fucking did that shit. Or if, mm -hmm. or if they just like, yeah, just threw change at you. It's like or the worst was it's like, OK, it's going to be $50 and they give you a Ziploc bag full of change. And you're just like, oh, you got to count it. Now, is it true that like you have to accept it because like U.S. currency? It's like a law. You have to accept yeah. U.S. currency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
because I've seen on YouTube like guys paying their parking tickets like at the deck at the police station, whatever, <laughs> like with a bucket of pennies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they I, fucking don't. Now, Brandon, is that justified? I think so. Under stupid circumstances like that, certainly. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let me crank up situations this. like that, though. It's like you're picking a fight with the people who aren't really directly yeah. involved in the situation. So you're just like making their morning miserable mm-hmm. for. So at the same time, I'm like, that's kind of a dick move, too. So I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Man, I've got one more, but I don't think I can do it. Dude, I'm thinking about what? this Virgil's root beer, but I think I might die if I open it. Let's, listen, guys, we got a great audience tonight. I think we can do it. Okay, I mean, it's, it, tomorrow's Sunday. What are you doing tomorrow, Cody? Uh-huh. You taking it easy, right? Dying, apparently. I'm going to church. <laughs> hey, dude, Jesus, Jesus will power you through. <laughs> Which oh, one should I do? Deads, deads. There you go. There you go. Send your mama right out through the snow. Tell that bitch to bring home a fake go. <laughs> no, it's warm, so it's not the greatest. That's how that goes, right? I want mine in a glass so I feel cool. It's too, yeah, it's too, it's like room temperature now. Why is your so fizzy? And I think it's going to be <laughs> a long, long time. Yeah, what'd you do? Did you, 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 did, oh, you dang, it, it looks like oh, you did a, oh, I see. Oh, you poured it in there. I see. You poured hard. This is a bad idea. Well, that's going to be on. on Hold on, Brandon. <laughs> Are you ready to do a cheers, Brandon? Sure. Hold on, let me finish my pour. <laughs> If you don't make that a fucking clip and play that shit, <laughs> no, you know it's gonna be the next clip. I can already tell you, it's gonna, it's gonna be Brandon is. What? <laughs> gonna be... The clip is gonna be Brandon is a man of many words. And it's gonna be me going now, Brandon. You prefer. <laughs> you prefer saw, saw seventeen over spiral, yeah. And then, eight seconds. I thought there was more to the question. You didn't. I thought you were making a point. We thought you were making a point. All right, all right. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> all right. Let's see. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To, uh, <laughs> it's a good help. To, to Clue G- Gulliger, who we haven't talked about one time in this whole fucking stream. <laughs> that root beer was uh, a little old. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Nietzsche, do you like the vanishing? Are you going to get hitchers in 4K? I've only seen the American version of The Vanishing, and I really liked it. But I know I've heard that it's crap compared to the original I, one. I don't think I've seen it. It has Keith or Sutherland and uh, uh, the dude. I, I can't think of his name. Uh, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Yeah, it's it's good. I like. Oh, and uh, Sandra Bullock, a very young Sandra Bullock. So I'm like ninety one or ninety three. Yeah, I liked it a lot. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you have like donuts or not donuts? You have like those. What'd you call it? Toilet side. To, what'd you call them? Toilet or toilet side uh, cookies or something? What'd you call them? You what? The what? Oh, you, you, toilet side cookies or something? Kitchen sink cookies. Kitchen sink. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Brandon, dude, and his, and his and his jelly beans. Brandon, dude, just slug one of them cookies. What? You just slug one of them cookies and two. <laughs> you ready? I'm trying you? to. I'm trying to wake up in the morning. No, I can't. I can't. I'll, okay, here, fine. Fuck it. I'll do it. You put him on full screen so he has to. <laughs> 
What kind is that? Oatmeal raisin? It's the kitchen sink. Oatmeal raisin, white chocolate, butterscotch, chocolate chip. I can't oh. do this right now. <laughs> oh. I guess the concept is you throw everything in there like the kitchen sink. I guess that's why they call them that. Oh, so it's all kinds of different things, all different yeah. flavors. I thought like you set them by the kitchen sink. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, you know, they're like supposed to be handy for. for... You threw me off with the toilet cookies. I was like, what the hell are you talking Whenever about? Whenever you got to wash your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's extra protein on that. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> this is the fucking basket case show. That's what this is right now. <clears throat> we got a few more minutes. We're going to wrap up here in a second. Um, Brian, what do you have coming up in the. I have nothing. I, I made something today. Oh yeah. It'll be three more weeks until I get something else going on. What did you? What did Actually, you that's not true. We went we went Halloween hunting today, so I got a bunch of content for videos about uh, looking for Halloween stuff in stores. How did that go? Did you find anything? I know it's early. We got a bunch of shit. Yeah. Mm. Michaels was like half full of Halloween stuff. It was awesome. All kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> So if you guys got a Michael's craft store close to you, really good stuff this year. Like literally half the store, I feel like was Halloween. Yep. Um, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a live stream sometime next week to celebrate 3,000. I'm gonna do that for sure. And I'm gonna do the second playthrough thing. I'm gonna do the second playthrough of Castlevania 4 on hard mode at some point too. And then we all still gotta figure out how to play. Turtles in Time on live stream. Or excuse me, Hyperstone Heist, whatever. <clears throat> right. Hell yeah. But yeah. Did any of you guys see the hand movie? I keep forgetting what it's called. Talk to me. Talk to me, yes. I, w I wanted to go today, but it's not playing in my theater, of course. Really? My luck. really? Yeah, I live in bumfuck Egypt, dude. You, Brandon? What? <laughs> have you seen Sorry. Talk to Me? I have not seen it, no. Yeah. Neither have I. I haven't seen anything new lately at all. In <coughs> theaters. <coughs> um, what's the next movie I think y'all are going to go see in a the theater? I don't know. Maybe Oppenheimer or maybe Ninja Turtles. I don't know. Are you going to go see The Last Voyage of the Demeter? Oh, that comes out. When does that come out? September. Actually, I think it's August. Let me see. I'm, I'm not... <clears throat> I do actually. There's an event going on around my area. They're showing uh, Slumber Party Massacre 1 and 2, and it's like nice. a pajama party. Wow. That's August cool. 11th. You've got to vlog that, dude. I don't know if I'm good at vlogs, so we'll see. Uh, what well, does I mean? It's like but get a bunch of footage of it. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, oh yeah, you like, got, definitely got to get it. Cover that shit for sure, because yeah. that's hardcore. Yo, Vigo Mortensen's in Last Voyage of the Demeter, and David oh, wow. Dast Malshian, the guy from uh, the guy from uh, Zodiac. Oh, I want I want to see the Meg. I think that's coming out in a couple weeks. I think it's coming out like next week. The Meg too. I like shark movies a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Let's see when the Meg 2 comes out. Meg 2, The Trench, uh, August 4th. So that's even sooner. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love the Meg. Yeah, it's a fun time. <clears throat> anyway. Brandon, you want to close the show? I do not. <laughs> we will see you guys on the next step. For, thank you for tuning in to episode 25 of Planet Dirty, officially. We will see you guys on the next episode, which will be the uh, what did we say? The bowling balls and uh, Barry Manilow show, or something like that. Bowling and Barry Manilow. If you guys ever do like a like a Jim Varney and you know Jim Varney show, you let me know. I'll be back. Hell yeah! Um, we got something coming up. Now then we got we got an ice cream show, an ice cream social. Oh yeah, announcing it here for the first time. The ice cream social. Yeah. <clears throat> It's gonna be great, Cody. Thank you for hopping on, dude. It's always a blast and a pleasure. Yeah, 
Thank you for having me. I do apologize if you don't feel good, though. I, you know, oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm actually yeah. kind of hungry. Are you guys yeah, hungry? I'll, I'll say, I think I need like real food in me. And not sh- I could get a cheeseburger right now or something. And now, Dude, let's go, Brent, not, let's go. Cool side cookies or whatever you have. Oh, yeah. if, if I do, a, if I do a stream going to Whataburger, will you hop on with me? <laughs> I will. Listen, uh, before we end the show, everybody needs to go watch Twisted Metal. It's only six episodes, they're half an hour each. It is phenomenal. I don't care what you've heard. The acting is great. The story is great. The pacing is excellent. The visual effects are excellent. The art design, set design, cinematography, sound effects, all that stuff are on point. Sweet Tooth is exactly what I wanted him to be in this in this show. It is absolutely violent. Uh, a great character building. Like Everything about it is fantastic. It is fucking fantastic. Watch it. Do me, hey, and especially I, if you me, like the first few games in the series, it's goofy like that. You'll love it, I promise. And Sweet Tooth is played by Samoa Joe, right? Like his, Samoa Joe plays him, and Will Arnett is voicing him. Oh, it's perfect. Now. It's perfect, dude. He's fucking huge and scary, and like yeah. Sweet Tooth, you love. Like I'm not gonna spoil it, but like you love him in the show. He's not necessarily a bad guy or a hero. He's sort of in between. That's not a spoiler, but uh, there are things that he does in the show and the story that he's just like. You wouldn't want to be around that guy because he really seems unhinged, real, like really unhinged. It's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, I saw a clip where he's like singing on stage or something. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it's I can't like I, I'm I'm my mind is blown by how good this show is because I was expecting it to be fun, like in the vein of Crank or Crank 2, mm-hmm. which it is. But like it's and uh, what's his name? Uh, Thomas Hayden Church. Oh, cool. OK, is awesome in the fucking I, show. I know he was in it. Me and Shannon were watching it the other night. She's like, I know this guy from somewhere. And I'm like, I don't know where you would have known him from. And she she Wings. pulled him up on George of the Jungle. I'm like, oh, that's oh, where you know him from. he is in George of the Jungle. Yeah, see, I used to watch Wings with him. Yeah, he played Lyle. So, yeah. yeah. Lyle, yeah. <laughs> Lol. Brandon, do me a favor, because I had yeah. to I had her X out of my tab. Resend me the link to your T-shirt store. We'll tell the chat to check out your merchandise. You got stuff on sale right now? I got all kinds of shit. On, available on T-shirts. All the designs I have. Every single design, whether it be a Tabata Vision or a Halloween design, something random, it's all available on T-shirts, pants, backpacks, cups, stickers, magnets, clocks, anything you want. I put the uh, link. I put the link in the chat just now, guys. Go check out Brandon's merchandise. And guys, I am almost a five hundred, so it'd be awesome if I could. Oh, oh let's, hey, hold on, let's do it right now. <laughs> Before, all right, we got a minute. Brandon's almost got to go to bed. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bed for a while now. Brandon, I, I'm actually excited. I kind of want to watch. Uh, kind of the demons. Watch, no, no. Uh, Twisted metal. Oh, yeah, dude, man. it's so fucking good. I was not interested in it until you started promoting it. God damn it! So I hope you guys like it. Like I don't want to be the assholes. Like oh, that he loved that show and this the show is terrible. I can't believe it's not bigger than it is so far. And Nev Campbell, I'm sure, is great in it. Yeah, she's really good. I won't spoil anything. It's just it's fucking every character. You either love or you love to hate. Like it's so, I can't believe how fucking good this show is. It blows my mind. It's and it has no of, business being this good, dude. It's getting a lot of shit, right? I it keep is. hearing people saying, "Oh, it's bad," but man, I like bad stuff. A lot <laughs> like, of YouTubers I, I, are like, "It's zany and it's it's uh it's it's mismatched and it's uh unbalanced." I'm like, you know what the what, fuck are you talking about? It's like, a it's game perfectly. about fucking clowns crashing cars yeah. and fighting. Like I, I I maybe they want to just car combat, but this like actually has a story and a plot that makes sense. But it's fantastic, fantastic, dude. Y'all hit fantastic. that link. Let's get him to 500 tonight. Do it. Let's get some sales for Brandon's clothes tonight. Do it. <laughs> Buy yourself. My biggest my biggest Ooh. seller has been a, a Christmas Halloween poster parody, which a lot of you in the chat have probably seen. I've sold like 300 of those so far over the last couple of years. The Christmas vacation uh, cover, but it's Michael Myers. I, I, maybe I've seen that. No, it's is the that- Halloween poster with a knife and stuff, but it's a Christmas tree instead of the pumpkin. It's very, it's very simple, but I've sold so many of those for some reason. People just love it. So it's good stuff, but um, it's Redbubble. It's not uh, T Public or anything. I don't feel like migrating over again with the price points basically the same. So Jolly Rotten, <laughs> try uh, yeah, put Christ on his throne. Are these all yours? Oh, yeah. You have the crow and John Lipizzano. 
Mm -hmm. All right, Brandon, where's the, where's your, do you have like a bestseller thing or like? I don't, but that that Halloween post right there is one of the bestsellers. So is Christ on his throne. Right here? No, down Down right there, the uh, Christmas poster. That's pretty cool. I like that (laughs) sticker. I can't write all the time. Dang. Look, 199 reviews. Damn, Brandon, you're making bank over here. I wish. And and that's a poster. That's the same thing with with T Public too. It's like, yeah, it is a poster. And yeah, look oh, at no, it. no, no, no. It's a greeting card. It's a greeting card. Yeah, that one is. But you can get that on shirts, posters, stickers, hats, whatever you want. I'm gonna this send is, you one. It's kind of like the same thing on uh, T Public. I I really don't make a dime off of any of the T shirts. I just want people to. It's cool to see people wear the shirts. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I make like a dollar. It kind of sucks because this kind of mishmashes all the stuff together, mm-hmm. but uh, it's good stuff. And if you guys want to support the dude, there's a shirt on uh, Born to Be Rad's page. That's uh, the Rad Dudes. Mm. Let's go to T Public, dude. It's hard to search for people in T Public. Like I have to go to someone's video and hit their link. Like if I go there and you know type in Born to Be Rad, sometimes it's hard to find that shit. Let me see if I come up. Like even if you have proper tags, it's hard to find people sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like if the seller has the proper tags, like yeah, see, it's weird. Yeah, I don't even come up. Mm-hmm. I don't know how their algorithms work on these sites. Yeah. Because like, like you set up your own tags for your channels on these places, but they still don't show up very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if I, if I'm looking for something, I have to go to like watch Christian's last video and then hit yeah. the link description. It's got to sort it on here, but based Oh, see his comes right up though. Mm-hmm. All right. Where's the, uh, where's the uh, Cody shirt? It should be down. Right there, rad dudes. Rad dudes. Put that on a mug. No. Very nice. Let's try the. Let's see. Now, the this color looks good. The green this one looks works cool. the same, right? Like you could do these designs on a mug on this side if you want to, right? Like you don't yeah. have to do just a t-shirt. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Nice. It didn't really let you. Ch- you could do a travel mug too. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if I, uh, if Garrett edited it. I think he he tried to, or I tried to, see if any of my shirts pop up on his store. I don't know. Let me click on this. Are we still live? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's he, there he is. He, his ears were burning. Garrett's in the oh, chat. Oh, Garrett's What's in up, the Garrett? chat. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're telling everybody to buy your gear, Garrett. It's like cross promotion right now, Garrett. Well, look, they just got the uh, they got the um, tie dye, which they just added. That's cool. Tell Garrett to get his ass on here. Uh, he's got the link, but I think he was busy. We were supposed to have ended like 15 minutes ago, but here we are. It's all good. It's all good. I like the Rad Street USA. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the Rad Dude shirts is, is pimp. Dude, I love that Rad, the green one with the Rad. I like right the there. Lost Boys one. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen Boys. the Lost Boys one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Click. He, Garrett says, click my link in the shirts. That'll go to my store. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a store. I'm on a store. Okay, yeah. I saw. I almost bought one of these, except it was a dead pit. It said it said dead pit radio, but it was this shirt, (laughs) Mm -hmm. which was cool. I got something else. I can't remember. There it is. This I almost got that, but I ended up getting something else. I forgot what I got though. I was it was like 3 a.m. and I was just high. (laughs) Oh shit! There I am. Yeah. Nice. Uncle Red. <laughs> Jaws rules. Halloween Havoc. The oh, Carpenters. That's, <laughs> 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 that's funny. Let's see what's on the... I added a bunch. I tried to add a bunch of stuff on my store. Dude, oh, add stuff to your store. I was like, I, I've i added so many stuff to my cart, and then the, you get off the site, it disappears. Yeah. I, made that I want that today. ghost one, man. I was pretty excited about this because I was like, "City's like make you do the Planet Dirty stuff, make some soda shirts." So I made the uh, Seven Up Planet C H H. Oh, that's cool. I I used to have a uh, Make Seven Up Your shirt. Remember those days? Oh yeah, dude. I tried to make like a Pac Man shirt, yeah. but that's cool. You know, that's cool. My favorite. I'm gonna get this in red, dude. That's my. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Show me the red. How does it look? Oh yeah. Does it good. look good in red? It looks like yeah. Texas now. Can you like show it, me the teal real quick <laughs> on the right? Right here. Keep going. No. Keep going. Keep going. Nope. There, there. 
Oh yeah, dude, that's yeah, fire. Man. That's smooth right there. Yeah, and, and then you can change the styles of shirts as well. I know. I like getting heavyweight tees, but they limit the colors. They last for yeah. fucking ever. Heavy. Hey, they're only seventeen bucks. Damn. They're on sale. Yeah, they're every, on everything, sale. Everything, for... every whole store. Two hours. Right two now. hours, guys. You only have two hours left. The then same. I made a. I. I mean, it's not that original, Brandon, but I try to do something. You know, I mean, not a, bad. Dude, that Nick is exhausting. Shirt cracks. I love Nick, and it cracks me up. Nothing but love yeah. to Nick. But yeah, no, I. I. It, he knew I made that. Mm-hmm. It's not like you know. Uh, I bought one of these. I got a Sega shirt. Yeah, and I do want to get that pla- that planet dirty with the pizza. The pizza, slice. yeah, that's that's hard. We need that for the Ninja Turtle stream. I know. <laughs> Whenever that happens, if that ever happens, oh, that's that's fire right there. Uh, like the green is what I had in mind. Green looks but, good. Yeah. The yellow looks good too. Yeah, you got some good yeah. colors. And uh, dude, I, this is what blew me away, Brandon. I checked today; we have sold twelve now. Wow. Of the, of these planet dirt, which is a lot for me, but people love this design and uh a tie-dye looks sweet doesn't that tie-dye look sweet as hell yeah has anybody hey, received it... a tie-dye yet in um, the chat anyone i'm just yeah, kind of seeing how that works i want it's... that crushed purple oh sorry cody go ahead i was say some shirts come in great and some shirts aren't as great so it's like it's hit or miss sometimes oh really with, with t public yeah 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 what'd you say the purple one the crushed purple on the right on the second row Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. I like the green. The dad, the shoe the shoe yeah. cart family, the I dad got the green, and the green looked really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone got a green rad dude shirt, and it looked pretty cool. It looked like that's, Ninja yeah. Turtles. That's sick. We're trying to get some more You Need a Horror Podcast and You Need a Can. I mean, technically, we have two You Need a Horror Podcast shirts. We got the Nick is Exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. You know, somebody will get one. But yeah, I'm trying. But uh, yeah, Garrett and, and Dead Pit, they got nice. They got nice stuff on their pages. You know, that's cool. I like the Anchor Bay one. Uh, but yeah, guys, go get a Rad Dude shirt. Where is it at again? Let's look at the Rad Dudes. Where the hell is it? <laughs> oh, page one. Dude, I need a Rad Dude shirt. I like this Rad Street USA. Yeah, it's cool. But let's let's all right, Brian. Let's pick out our color. There you go, Brandon. No, it's got to be the hot pink if I'm doing pink. That's 90s right there. That looks pretty snazzy. That looks pretty snazzy. I'm not going to lie. That's mustache worthy right there. Yeah. I like that. That teal looks good, too. I like the teal. Yeah. This one right here. Yeah. That's 90s. The teal stuff. looks nice, too. Yeah. yeah. How does I, that? What is that crushed pink on the right, right? What is that? Is that red or pink on the very right? On the very far? Oh, you can't see the red. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, yeah the blues look, look cool too. Yeah, the green get is what I uh, I love. Yeah, I own the black one. That's the only one I have. Oh dang, I didn't know there's tie dye in that as well. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty solid on black. Mm-hmm. And this, it's crazy how the reason I swapped all my stuff. I'll get out of here. But there you go, guys. You want to get go get yourself a red dude shirt. I um, I swapped all my stuff over to. T public because Teespring, dude, they kind of suck. Everything dies in the wash. All the like, all the words and stuff, they just mm-hmm. come right off of the shirt. Yeah. And T public doesn't do that whatsoever. I've I've gotten like maybe six shirts now, and every one just it's incredible. I I always wash inside out as well. Yeah, I do too. Still mm-hmm. on T pub and T public T spring, they would just. Teespring, okay. take a dirt bath. They're rougher shirts too over there. They do have premium tees, Justin. All right, let's end the show with this, Cody. What's your top five horror movies? Uh, there's Child's Play two. There's Scream. There's uh, oh man. shit, he almost dropped his root <laughs> Uh I like Halloween four. Uh, I like um, man. I hate being Freddy's honest, dead. But, Freddy's dead. Uh, Freddy's dead is good. I like uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. And you heard that? He said Manhattan, like I do, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon Jason, says Manhattan. Jason That's goes right. straight to Manhattan. <laughs> Jason goes straight to Manhattan. <laughs> and man, uh, 
<laughs> uh, I, I love me some Dr. Giggles, so I'll throw that out. But man, when I put it on the spot, I'm like, I'll be sitting on the toilet later and be like, oh, Fuck, shit, I, I should have said Gremlins 3. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Dude, you're sitting on the toilet, you reach for a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> <It's about vision. laughs> all right this was fun brandon i apologize brandon one of these days we're just gonna do a show where we just talk and not indulge ourselves <laughs> and not have not have diabetic strokes people like it brandon, though man i can't i can't finish this dude the dads <laughs> it's going down the sink yeah brandon should i guzzle this really quick no don't do that don't do it i think you should <laughs> It's still place. warm now. I know. If they're ice cold, it'd probably be a little better, but man. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to end the show right here. Mongolian beef. It is off the chain. Oh, I don't it's crispy. That. Dude, it's fantastic. That shit is fantastic. The Tang Portal is open. All residents of Planet Dirty evacuate immediately. The Tang Portal has been opened. May God help us all. <laughs>